Hey guys, good morning. Uh, I hope you got some rest and you're alert and awake. And if not, uh, you're going to get sleepy uh, today. So when you don't get rest, um, you're not quite the same person that you need to be. You're not on your best game um, and you're not able to function uh, properly into, um, yeah, just you're not your best self. Anyway, so the message today, I listened to, and I, I re-listened really to it um, because uh, it had a lot of good points. And, and I put that on Facebook, so my private page, Karen Carter Smith, if you uh, want to go listen to that or go to YouTube, um, it's Robert Madu. Uh, he's from Social Dallas, and he's awesome. And um, another one that I follow with great wisdom and insight and the title is, I didn't know I fell asleep. And the whole message um, was on um, Eutychus uh, falling asleep in the window. Uh, Paul was preaching. And I actually hadn't heard of Eutychus. Um, and, or, or that name just didn't stay, stay with me. But the story was that Paul was preaching um, and that Eutychus had fallen asleep. But he fell asleep in the window, and he fell out of the window, and he died. And um, Paul, you know, went down, and uh, he was resurrected at the end of the story. But um, he, he spoke about this whole thing about being sleepy and falling asleep and how uh, you're not aware, you're not standing guard, and um, even when you have good intentions, and he, he spoke about the disciples falling asleep on Jesus, um, and they actually, you know, were the closest to him, and, it, and their hearts were in, um, really, their heart was desiring to follow Jesus, but yet they fell asleep in the presence of Jesus. Um, and so, he related these stories, and he 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 did other stories too. And he talked about going to church and falling asleep. Um, how, you know, you're in the presence of, uh, God and, uh, listening to his word, but you didn't get rest and you fell asleep. And then driving, um, you fall asleep and you wreck or, you know, you, you're so tired, you go to sleep. All of those things you didn't mean to do. Um, but you didn't guard and plan uh, and and get the proper rest uh, or draw the proper boundary that you needed uh, to keep yourself from falling asleep. So I know there's been times that I've driven uh, on long road trips and so tired um, that I've had to fall I've had to pull over and and sleep in the rest stop uh, because I was. I caught myself dozing and, uh, you know, those little, <laughs> those tracks on the side of the road that know that you're running off the road. And, uh, so it kind of wakes you up, but if you do not plan and prepare and put boundaries in your life, um, you're going to, you're going to like fall asleep. You're you're not even going to be aware that you're doing it either. And, you know, he talked about boundaries in relationships with um, people that you're not supposed to be around. Um, you know, and you start questioning and saying, you know, is that okay? Or, you know, how far can I go before it's sin? And, uh, you know, you start questioning all this stuff and, and it's in his message about how uh, crossing boundaries and asking yourself, should I be doing this? And if you're asking yourself, should I be doing this? The question is no. If you're asking yourself, then you are about ready to fall asleep. And you're going to wake up and you're going to say, oh my goodness, I didn't know. I fell asleep. 
um, and, and he related this whole message and it's so good. You just need to go listen to it because, you know, I never do sermons justice. Um, you know, I'm only the messenger and relaying the message that I get from my heart. And, um, it really is a good message about how we find ourselves in positions. We, we choose to put ourselves there. Like he talked about Eutychus, um, you know, Paul, uh, was preaching very long and um, he said his his problem wasn't about Eutychus falling asleep because we all get tired um, but where he sat um, when you know why did he sit in a window um, why did he you know when you're tired why do you sit in a window it's just common sense you're gonna fall out and if you fall out you're gonna die okay so he related that to us making choices in our life like why are we choosing to do this because it's only going to bring about death and that's what satan does the enemy is looking to kill and to steal and destroy and he he quoted several uh passages in scripture where it talked about um let's see i wrote it down uh paying attention um that the culture our culture Everything in it is causing you to go to sleep um, and to let us, we needed to be awake and sober, to wake up from your slumber, put aside um, deeds of darkness, be alert and of sober mind. The enemy is devouring and prowling and um, that, let's see. That even, he talked about um, Eutychus, he talked about the disciples, he, it, and he related it to us, that we have good intentions, um, but everybody gets tired and sleepy, and he, uh, you know, pay attention to where you are, that, um, you know, your sorrow can make you sleepy, that you are not aware and awake when you're in a state of desperation or um, sorrow or anger or bitterness or all of that. All of those states, emotional states, your mind is not alert. It's sleeping because you put your guard down. And you don't have your full armor of God on. And that you have to really pay attention to that. And so he really takes this message uh, deeper. Um, but the thing I want you to reflect on. Because, you know, without reflection and awareness, you can't deal uh, with making changes in your life. And... Um, you know, unless you make the changes, there's not going to be any transformation in your life. And so, what areas are in your life and he, that you are falling asleep on? Like, he talked about hunger gets what hunger wants. And I did a message on being hungry, and it didn't relate to food. It related to the dangers of being hungry so hungry that you will go after whatever um, without any guard rails that you just need what you need and you are going to get it and sometimes we step over boundaries and make choices and do things that we don't want to do um, but because we need it we desperately our flesh needs it we um you know just close uh our eyes to the correct thing and so and yeah i've done it you know we've all done that in our lives we've we've made choices and decisions where we knew we knew um it wasn't good but we did it anyway and so we kind of like slowly fell asleep and then you wake up and you're like, whoa, whoa, 
I, I died. You know, you were like Eutychus. You fell out of the window. And and you, your sin led to, to death of your soul and spirit. And um, only Jesus can bring you back to life. Only getting in the presence and submitting yourself to his will and his ways will revive you. And um, so anyway, what in your life are you dancing around? Are you tiptoeing? Are you um, asleep that you're not awake and alert of where that might lead you? Um, are you around somebody that you're tempted with? Um, you know, if that's the case, do not keep playing that game. Run. Uh, wake up and get away. Your flesh is weak. And it, it is. And even the disciples slept in the presence of Jesus. And and that like was like, whoa. Um, you know, I had read those scriptures before um, and wondering why they fell asleep. Um, but they were human and you are too and you get tired and you get weary and um but you have to plan and prepare for success and you have to put up boundaries and guardrails to protect um yourself and um you know so you need to get with the lord and ask him to reveal uh the areas in your life where you're um uh, kind of going to sleep um, and have him help you wake up and and do things different and um, you know the key is to get proper rest and in the spiritual realm that means get the word of God so uh, in your mind and heart that you become very cautious and, you know, it's choices. These are choices. You choose. Nobody makes you do that. Nobody. It's your choice. And if you're doing it, you need to figure out why you're doing it. Don't keep doing it. You know, just because it feels good or because you're getting attention or, um, you know, whatever the payoff is is not uh, greater than your soul because the death of your spirit and the crushing of your heart is devastating uh, sometimes you don't bounce back um, you know sometimes people get so far gone that they don't come back uh, they harden their hearts and you don't want to get to that place where you harden your heart. So you need to wake up. You need to get out of your sleep. And wake up. And go and run into the arms of Jesus. He is the only one. That can revive your soul. And um, get your spirit to come alive again. And But it's up to you to take proper care of your soul. That means feeding it with the word. Um getting in line with him and spending time with Jesus. Um, those things are healthy to keep you spiritually awake. Okay. So are you spiritually asleep? Are you not pouring into your mind and your heart? Are you dozing off? If you're dozing off, something's not right. And it's not going to end good. So be aware. Be alert. Wake up. And if you're in that zone off the road where you hear the bumps, get back on track. And that's get back to Jesus. Guys, the enemy is cunning. He's smart. He plans. And he is constantly scheming to throw you off your game. And he knows your weaknesses. You have to know your weaknesses. And you have to plan uh, and stand guard 
and be alert and stay awake and do everything in your power to protect um, yourself. And so, yeah. So, that's your morning message. I hope you have a wonderful Tuesday. It's doomy and gloomy with rain. But remember that we need the rain. Um, the rain in our lives bring about the sunshine uh, in another season. Flowers can't grow without the rain. Um, and uh, so during those times of rain and our sadness in our lives uh, brings about um, tomorrow. Um, flowers bloom and grow and uh, that's like the stories of our lives, the seasons of our lives. Uh, don't stay in the rainy season. Um, it's just a season, guys. If you're there and it's been there a long time, your day's coming. Keep, 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 keep guard. Keep working hard. Um, I know you're tired, uh, but still stand guard. It's when you get tired that you, you fall asleep. So don't grow weary. Stand guard. And uh, yeah. Have a great day. Thanks.